Hey everyone, it's Cece here and today I'm going to show you how to create a macrame dog leash. I'm going to be creating a leash to match the collar that I made last week and I'm going to use um, the same color here this bright yellow so the string that I'm using for that is this braided cotton cord in a four millimeter you could also use a five or six millimeter cord if you wanted it to be a bit chunkier but I think the reason that you need to use the braided cotton cord over any other cord is because it's just going to be a little bit more durable and sturdy which is something that you really need for a pet product now the first step is to take an old lead so i've got this dog leash here and measure the length so just taking your tape measure and measuring all the way up and you also want to take your measurement up and around the handle as well and mine measures 150 centimeters total so now we need to take the length that we've measured and times that by six and that length is how long we want to cut our cords by. So for me, I would take 150 centimeters and times that by six, and that means that I'm cutting my cords by nine meters each. So you're gonna need two cords total cut to that length that you've just calculated. And you are also going to need uh, a hook for the end of the leash. So this is a snap hook, and I've actually just cut it off the end of my old dog leash instead of having to buy one from a shop. So let's get into the project and Firstly, I like to grab a clipboard and then take my snap hook and just pop it under the clipboard so it's secure in place for me to work on. Now what we need to do is grab our pre-cut cords and then take one end and measure the length that you want for your leash. So I am going to measure 150 centimeters there and then fold the cord in half like so. Now you want to create a lark's head knot around the snap hook using your cord. So pulling all that cord through and just pulling that lark's head knot tightly around the snap hook and you'll end up with something like this. You'll have the shorter cord on the inside and you want the longer cord on the outside of the snap hook. You're just going to repeat that process and again making sure that the shorter cord is on the inside and the longer cord is on the outside of that snap hook. All right so now we are ready to start our knotting. We should have our two cords attached like so and what I do like to do before I start my knotting is just grab the really long bits of cord that we're going to use as our working cords today and then just roll them into little bundles so they're easier to work with. So I just like to wrap them around my fingers back and forwards. And I'll pull it off my hand and grab that little end and just wrap it around a couple of times. Tuck it in, it should hold in place and then something like that's a lot easier to work with than pulling all those meters of string through as you're knotting. Just repeat that on the other side and then you're ready to start your project. So now we can start creating square knots which are going to create our leash. And if you don't know how to create a square knot, I do have a tutorial available online. So I'll leave the link to that in the description below. But essentially we just take the first cord, bring it over and then take our bundle underneath the middle working cords and pulling it through. And then going back the other way. So taking that cord over, taking the bundle under the middle cords and through. And there is our first square knot. So we're just going to continue creating square knots all the way down the length of our leash. You can probably see how much easier it is for me to do the knotting with this bundle rather than pulling all the meters of cord through. 
like you would if you didn't have this. Now, the other thing to remember is this is a lead for an animal, so you need it to be strong. So make sure you're pulling fairly tight on your square knots so they are secure and they're not going to stretch or move around. Okay, so now I've knotted to about 30 centimeters with my square knot. And what I'm gonna do is just add a little spiral knot now to the leash. And I think it's cute, it adds a little bit of decoration to the product. You can do this if you like, or if you prefer it to just look like this the whole way, then keep on square knotting all the way down. But to create that spiral knot, I'm just going to take one string across and then bring the other underneath and through that loop like so, creating that half square knot. And using the same side again, creating a half square knot. It should start to spiral around. Now, if you don't know how to create the spiral knot, I have a tutorial for this knot as well. So I'll leave that link in the description below too. So now I have finished my length of spiral knot and I'm just going to shift this up and then continue square knotting. So you can see here that I have now finished knotting the length of my leash. I'm getting towards the end of it now. And an optional extra that we can add is a little D hoop like you can see here. And it's really great that you can have that in there to clip on an accessory or maybe a poop bag holder for the dogs. And the easiest way to add this is to just take the end of your cord that you're about to use for the square knot and feed it through, then create your square knot. Then again, feed your end back through the D hoop and create another square knot and pull tightly. And that will hold that securely in place like so. So now what we want to do is just make sure that we've gotten to the point where we have just enough rope in the center to create that handle. And you also want an extra 10 or so centimeters just hanging out. So you can see that I'm at the point now where I'm going to start making my handle. Now, what you'd need to do with this point is create a little gap in between your square knots, measuring about five centimeters. I'm just going to drop down five centimeters and create a square knot like so. Now I'm just going to keep on knotting my square knots. Okay, so I finished my knotting for my handle and the total length that I have is about 40 centimeters. And you can see that I've still got my little ends here. And now what I'm going to do is loop my knots around like so, and then poke those ends through the middle of that hole that we created earlier. Now I'm just going to 
flip this around and clip that in place. And you'll have your little end sticking through and you'll have your two working cords on the outside like so. Now we're just going to continue to create our square knots, but we're going to create it around all of these strings here. So I'm just going to go over all of the strings through like so and just pull that nice and tight. You can even flip it around the back and pull these strings up like that. Great. And just continuing to create your square knots. Around all of the strings. Now, this part doesn't have to be too neat because we are going to cover this up in a moment, but this is just to make sure that all of that string doesn't move and you have a really secure handle for your pup. got this ready to go. Now I just like to cut my working cords to the same length as those other cords. So now we're going to need another cord and I've just cut one to about a meter in length and we're going to use that cord to create a wrap knot around all of these strings just to neaten it up a little bit. So flipping my lead over, creating that wrap knot around all of the cords. All right, so now I'm just finishing off my wrap knot and you need to make sure that it's fairly tight and secure. Cut that there. Now you should have a finished wrap knot that looks something like that. Now you can either cut all these strands short or some people like to leave them, maybe put some beads on the end, tie a little knot so it's kind of like a little tassel, but I am going to cut them off. I prefer it to look a bit neater. try and hide some of those ends up inside the wrap knot like so So now you should have a finished macrame dog leash that looks a little something like this one here. And the thing that I love most about this design is this cute little spiral section in the middle there. Thank you so much for watching guys. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to create your very own dog leash at home. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you see all my videos when I post them. And here's to finding our peace and creativity.